Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and y'all already know what your girl doing, cooking it up. Today, I have something nice and quick for y'all to do any day of the week, whenever you want to do it. So, today, we will be cooking. Let me show you guys first. As you can see, y'all know I got my yellow Mahatma rice. I got my yellow Mahatma rice. I love it. I've tried other yellow rices, y'all. Maybe y'all can suggest some yellow rices that I could try, but... This is the only rice I know that's yellow. I love yellow rice that comes out fluffy, nice, and soft. All the other yellow rices I've tried, they don't, they don't do right, y'all. They don't do right. Don't, they don't do right. I'm just telling y'all. I've tried them. Um, I did see this one yellow rice I think I'm going to try. So, I'll check that out. It's like in some kind of clear. Y'all probably seen it, but I don't know the name of it. But anyway, and I got my country crop butter. And I got my spice world garlic. And I have the star of the show. Uh-oh. The star of the show, my jumbo shrimp. Yes, y'all. I'm back craving my shrimp again, y'all. Y'all know I gotta bring them in for y'all. Ooh, I know. And these are the pre-cooked shrimp, as y'all can see. They pink, they already cooked, pre pre-cooked, cleaned and everything. But y'all already know I re-cleaned them. Y'all already know that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean my own stuff. So all right, and y'all see, I got my, if y'all seen my haul already, y'all see, I've got my Pioneer Woman ceramic cookware. Yes, she is beautiful. Yes, gorgeous. So, all right, so we got that, because this is going to be, a, like I said, a little quick meal. It's going to be a little cute, little quick video. All right, so we're going to be cooking garlic shrimp over yellow rice. I probably cooked this on my channel before, but oh well, y'all. Oh well, we just... I'm filming what I'm cooking for y'all, so y'all may get some repeats. It's all good. All right, so that's what we're cooking, y'all. Uh, garlic shrimp over yellow rice. Yes, and I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna do this thing. Quick and easy, I got my water over here boiling, but my rice already. I'm telling y'all, I'm ready to go this morning. Let's go, let's go. We got all day, let's go. Let's get this done. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything open up. I'm gonna be back to show y'all how we're gonna do this quick, quick little shrimp and rice, shrimp over rice. Bam, 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 bam. You can do it in about 10, 15 minutes. All right. I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm back. So, I already put the rice on. Y'all Y'all don't see me cook that rice in the meantime. Now, the rice is on, y'all. So, I just wanted to come and show y'all how I'm going to do the shrimp. Easy, easy, easy how I'm doing the shrimp. I'm just throwing it in my Pioneer Woman ceramic pan here. Almost fell on the floor. The devil is alive. Throw my shrimp on the floor. All right. And as you can see, it is a bunch of shrimp, but it's pre-cooked. We ain't worried about that. We ain't not worried about that. It. It's already pre-cooked. So we ain't trying to cook it. It's already cooked. But of course, we want to put some heat on it. Hello. All right. And I'm going to show y'all. I'm just taking some butter. Putting the butter in here. Whatever butter you want to use, that's your business. Put your butter in here. Just a little quick. Quick throw together, putting everything in one pan. I'm gonna put some more butter in there. I know I'm gonna need more butter than that. I know. Y'all see, I've been using the country crop uh, butter. Y'all know I usually use the I can't believe it's not butter. I still use that too, uh, but the country crop was on sale. <laughs> Y'all already know I'm about saving my coins. This country crop was on sale and I had some coupons for it. So, <laughs> think I ain't gonna get it any cheaper. But um, country crock, I've used it before. Country crock butter is pretty good. Pretty decent. Alright, and it's the uh, original, original butter. And as y'all can see, come on butter, stop playing around. And as y'all can see, I'm just dropping chunks of butter. Y'all put as much as y'all want. That's y'all business how much butter y'all use. This is my business how much butter I use. This is my business, this is my food. I put as much butter as I want. Okay. Anyway. Excuse me y'all, sometimes I just get a little crazy y'all know i love the lord but sometimes i get a little crazy all right so just dropping different just you know chunks of butter in here y'all know this butter gonna melt okay all right child that's enough butter that's enough butter okay so we got i got my butter chunks in there got my garlic open well not really let me get the garlic open Ooh, 
Ooh, that garlic strong. All right, so I'm gonna put my top on here because I don't want to dump too much garlic in here. And as y'all can see, I'm just putting some garlic in there like that. Put as much garlic as you want, your business, your groceries. And I'm just gonna stir this in like this. Just stir it all around, all over the shrimp. And you know, your butter soft, so I'm just stirring it all in. Don't judge. It may not look all appetizing right now, but y'all already know. When that butter go to melting, y'all already know. I'm just showing you. Now, you could have put your butter and your garlic in the pan and melted it and poured it over the shrimp. You could have did it that way, too. Y'all seen me do it that way, too. But I'm doing it a different way. Changing it up. Change it up sometimes. So, I'm just mixing my butter and my garlic around on my shrimp. Getting that all mixed up real good. Making sure your shrimp get all coated with that butter and that garlic. Ooh, that garlic is kicking. That garlic smells so good. And remember, my shrimp's already seasoned. I already seasoned my shrimp. Y'all know they've been marinating overnight. Y'all know how I do. So, <laughs> it's ready. It's already seasoned up. I put everything on there, whatever seasons you want to use. I did some New Orleans Cajun. I did some garlic, some onion. I did all of that good stuff. I don't know if I put some Old Bay on here. I probably did, knowing me. With shrimp, I know I probably put some Old Bay on there. See, like I said, this may not be looking all pretty right now. It may not be looking all pretty right now, but when it all come together, that's the word of the day. Things may not be looking right right now in your life. Things may be looking real ugly, real crazy. You just got a lot going on right now. You're stressed out, all that. May not be looking good right now, like this shrimp and butter all mixed up. May not be looking that good, but you know what? Give it time. When I throw this shrimp and butter in the oven and it get it all melted, when I bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, oh, it's going to be looking good. You just give God time, he'll bring it all together. I know. I know from experience, child. Ooh-wee. There were some times in my life when things looked the ugly. U-G-L-Y, girl. U-G-L-Y. Y'all remember that? Mm, 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 mm. But you know what? He brought it all together. You got to know in life you're going to have some ups and some downs. Ups and downs. Ups and downs. But he'll bring it all together. He'll bring it all together. Yes, he will. When he do it. Yes, he will. So, y'all look at that. Looking a little buttery. Smelling all buttery and garlicky. Let me zoom y'all in. So y'all can see what your girl done did. Take y'all over here. Hold on. Let me bring y'all over here. Bring y'all in so y'all can see how that's looking. See? He ain't looking too good. He ain't looking too ooh yummy right now. That's alright. That's alright. Like I said, he ain't looking too good right now. But God gonna bring it all together. He gonna bring it all together for you. He gonna bring it all together for you. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more parsley on it though. Y'all hold on. I do want to put some more parsley on it. Do want to put a little bit more parsley on it. And then when it melts all together, we're going we gonna to mix it up anyway. We're going to mix it up anyway. See, look. Look a little better. Things getting better. Look at it. Look how I put that parsley on there. Things getting better. Starting to look a little better. It's all right. In time, it'll all get better. So... Let me go ahead. I'm going to throw these shrimps in the oven. Y'all know I'm going to bring them out. Show y'all how they look. And then we're going to lay it over the rice. Y'all see. I'll be back. Y'all will see. All right, y'all. We back with the grand finale. I think I had my shrimp in the oven for about 10 minutes. 10 or 15 minutes. Long enough for that butter to melt. Ooh, look at those shrimps. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm telling you, sometimes I just be wanting to leave y'all right there. But let me show y'all the rice. At least show y'all the rice. Let's go over here to the rice. Zoom in on that rice. Y'all already zoomed in. Yes. Y'all know I love that Mahatma yellow rice. Let's go back over here to the shrimp. Y'all know. The straw of the shell. Besides parsley, child. Y'all see parsley. All right, y'all. Nice, quick, easy meal. I'm telling y'all. Did it in about 15 minutes. All right. Y'all know me. I get y'all in and out. I get you in and out to get you. I don't have you in there all day. In and out. All right, y'all seen me do it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks guys. <laughs> Bye. Uh.